in particular that you love? No, love them all. Sorry. It's okay. Hold on, while we're on this, do you have a favorite pie? Favorite what? Pie? P-I-E? P-I-E. <laughs> no, I don't have a favorite <laughs> I am so tired of favorites. Why do people always have to have favorites? You know, I have three dogs. I don't have a favorite. I love all three of them. I was going to say I have two wives, but I don't think I have one wife. And may I give you a hug? We will, toward the end, if we can. The end. But we just gotta get everybody's questions first. We gotta get the questions, questions first, but we will. I don't know what you just We're just trying to get everybody to do a question. Oh, oh. Hi, Mr. Lee. Spider-Man in pajamas. Yeah. I feel like I'm a little underdressed right now, but uh, I was wondering, out of all the comic series you've, you've created, is there any moment or uh, that you've written in any of your series that just stands out and you're like, Wow, I can't believe I wrote that, or how incredible was it that my vision actually came to life? Well, I guess so. Um, in Hulk's life, it was just when that gamma ray bomb exploded and turned him into the Hulk. And with Spider-Man, the one thing I always think about is when that stupid spider bit him. <laughs> one, one thing I liked in Spider-Man, he had always been one, his aunt had always wanted him to meet Mary Jane, or was it not Gwen? No, Mary Jane, Mary Jane. She was the next door neighbor's niece or something. And she was always saying to Peter, there's this nice girl living next door, you ought to meet her. Now, anytime a teenage boy has a grown-up say, there's a nice girl you ought to meet, he runs a mile. Because teenage boys are not looking for nice girls. And I love that last panel when he meets her for the first time. He opens up the door and there she is looking better than Marilyn Monroe. And she says to him, face it, Tiger, you hit the jackpot. Oh, I love that. I don't know why they didn't use that line in the movie. That's excellent, Stan. Thank you very much. We got a kid with a Suicide Squad shirt. You couldn't wear a Spider-Man shirt? <laughs> okay, what's your question? Hi, Mr. Lee. How do you think DC can make a hit with the critics? <laughs> oh! 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 How can DC make a good movie? Let me write it. <laughs> Crowdsource questions that some entrepreneurs wanted to ask. One of them was, um, were there any decisions that you made that, if you didn't make them, Marvel wouldn't have been successful? Is there any decisions that you made that Marvel? Is there any decisions that Marvel made? Yeah. No, that like if they made different decisions, then Marvel wouldn't have done as well. No, I, I am in favor of everything Marvel did. The only bad thing about it, they should pay me more money, but, I, you know, that's an, an ongoing argument. <laughs> oh, no, I love the decisions Marvel makes. They, they know more about making good movies, I think, than any group of people on the face of the earth. And to prove it, all you have to do is go see the movies. 
<laughs> um, did you say that Culture Toronto is awesome? <laughs> no, okay. Thanks, anyway. So we, we had to cut off the questions. I have one last one for Steve. Like, like me, a lot of the people here grew up fans of yours, influenced by work that you did, fans of what you do. What were you a fan of as a kid that made you want to be a creative person? Oh. Well, when I was a kid, I loved to read. I read the comics. They didn't have comic books. They had comics in the newspaper. And um, I read books. I read everything I could lay my hands on. In fact, it was funny. Um, my mother used to say when I was eating lunch, if there was nothing to read, I would read the label on the ketchup bottle, anything. I had to be reading. And I, sometimes I'd read a story and I'd say, Gee, I think I could have made it more interesting than that. So eventually I started trying to write, and uh, as we say in the movies, the rest is history. Thank you so much, Stan. Let's hear it one more time for Stan and Man of Lee. No, no, no. My thanks, my thanks go to you. Great audience, I love you all, and nobody has to say to me, who's your favorite fan? You all are. Thank you.